Hello guys, um, so this screen actually shows the first app after my, um, after my first video on how to create your first app in Streambase, typical Streambase. And now for this tutorial, we're going to uh, use this schema from first app and then create a uh, feed simulation. So first, make sure that uh, you have open SB testing and debug if you don't have it. Don't panic because you can do window. Um, first, try open perspective, and then uh, if <coughs> the SP test and debug is here, just click OK. Uh, if for anything it, it doesn't show here, then just click window. All right, um, show view other. And now um, there should be a feed simulation here and then just click OK and you're going to see the fee simulation here. All right, so generally just <clears throat> going to SV testing and debugging. <clears throat> now I am running my application. So if you didn't run it, you, you can just, you know, um, go back to SV authoring and then run the program by clicking on the run button. Cool. So now you're in the fee simulation tab. Uh, before we tried manually input IBM and 20,000. Uh, right, so just to show it actually works. Um, I mean, 5,000 is supposed to be a small trace. Um, it seems like everything works. Um, so now we're going to use a feed simulator. Uh, just right click on here and then click on new feed simulation. And then uh, specify a name um, because it's a first apps feed simulation. Uh, we're going to call it first app dot SB feed simulation, F SBFS. And finish. So there we go, that's our first uh, fee simulation. So notice there's no simulation streams. We're going to copy it from our first um, app. So just click on copy from stream name schema, and then uh, double click on first app.sbapp, and now you're going to see the trades in streaming, uh, in input stream, and just click on OK. Now you're going to see two fields, symbol and quantity. So by default, uh, all those data are generating random, but uh, uh, because this quantity should be larger or or, or less than 10,000 because we want it to be smaller or bigger trades, uh, we will want it to be custom. Of course, you can have data files or GDBC from a database, but for now, we're going to use custom and custom fields. Uh, now, we can see those two attributes. Right now, all of them are random, and uh, the minimum value, so this one basically says gen randomly generate a four length string and uh, we don't want that so we will want a enumerated so it's going to um, generate the following value okay um, I am going to create something that's really um, <clears throat> not really on the uh, not really the same thing as the tutorial but it should be the same thing so IBM uh, Dow HP and uh, Lenovo all right, sounds good. And then the weight here is just going to be um, the frequency in which those four are going to be appearing. So if you set all of them to be the same, then they will have the equal chance of occurring. Um, now we're going to set the, set the quantity. Uh, you have so many choices. But in this tutorial, we're going to select uh, um, the enumerated from the gener generation method. And then click on the following values. We're going to create uh, many other values, like 10,000, um, 20,000, um, 30,000, and of course 5,000 and uh, 25,000. Of course you can change the weight here. Uh, those are just frequencies on how those numbers are going to be appearing. Um, so now in your fee simulation, the symbols and quantities are going to be selected randomly based on the weight here, um, the frequency here. All right. Um, and then it's going to mix and match all those symbols with all those quantities. Uh, so for example, you can have IBM, uh, 10,000, and then Dell, 20,000, whatever, uh, whatever is on the, on the chart. So if you don't have that on your chart, then it's not going to work. Click OK and save it. Now you have your first uh, feed simulation. Just, you know, <clears throat> click on Run, and pause, and then you can see the application output. You can see uh, all those kind of nice um, outputs here, um, and it's being classified by by uh, 10,000 
right? So we'll trick filter actually filters out everything above 10,000 into the big trades and everything else into small trades. All right, so now you can ha you have your input. Of course, uh, you can ha you can you have your fee simulation, all right? And then you can see all of the inputs from application input. All right, uh, so you can check from here. So this is your first uh, fee simulation, and uh, um, <clears throat> you have completed your first app. And then the next video we are going to talk about the um, how to use a aggregation function to generate windows. And uh, I'll see you there.